Hi guys, once again, welcome to Cat's Kitchen. Today I made a uh, buttered salmon saute, well, I don't even know, De I don't even know how to name this plate, but it's a salmon deglazed butter, uh, heavy cream dish, I guess, with a crispy salmon skin. This is one of my most requested um, platters that uh, y'all ask, y'all been asking me on Instagram. So if you want to learn how to make this dish, keep watching, subscribe to my channel, like, comment, uh, hit that notification button so you can get more um, recipes from me. And let's begin cooking. Hi guys, and once again, welcome to Cat's Kitchen. Sorry, I'm cut off here. Um, we're gonna start with that salmon dish that everybody's been requesting about. I got my gloves on. We are going to de-skin the salmon. Turn on your oven to 375. Yeah, on bake. We're gonna. This is the all the ingredients you need. You need the salmon, of course, some olive oil, um, butter, heavy cream. Uh, we need some white wine. I have some already cut up red onions, but you could use some um, shallots, which tastes better in my opinion. I have some dry parsley. You can use fresh parsley, salt and pepper. And uh, on the side, I like to use this quinoa and brown rice from Costco. It is amazing. So we're going to start. We are going to de-skin this salmon here. That is pretty thin in my opinion. So try to get as much as that uh, meat off of it as possible so that um, when it gets into the oven, it crisps up and doesn't become chewy. So I am going to do that. I'm gonna do it to the next one. And now that we have uh, skinned the skin off of the salmon, we are going to bake. We are going to bake the skin. This is what we do. Oh, yeah. So I'll start with a baking sheet. No, you and then we are going to lay down a layer of black paper or parchment paper. Now, put the skin side up like so. I got rid of my gloves. Now I need to wipe my hands. And then you, then you need to sprinkle on a tiny bit of olive oil, just a couple of drops. And then just smear it around. And then sprinkle some salt not too much just a little bit then you're going to need another layer of wax paper on top and then weigh it down with a baking like pan or something Okay guys, so I just stuck the salmon skin inside of the oven to bake. I, I actually set it for 20 minutes. We're gonna start on the uh, salmon right now. So turn on your fire and you're going to need a little bit of oil. Always stick oil in when you cook with butter so it doesn't burn. Just a little bit, just a little bit like that. We're going to use some butter. We are going to, I'm just gonna cook two of the salmons together. So uh, one tablespoon per salmon slither. So this is probably not even hot yet. This is two tablespoons of butter. Melting butter, yum, meat. All right, well, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. to burn too much. 
Now we need to season this uh, salmon. So I'm just gonna put salt and pepper on both sides. stuck some salt in there because I have some leftovers. Sorry guys, the video is all cutting off because believe I broke my stand. And I don't feel like moving it too much. Alright, that is done. Going to stick the salmon steaks down. And we're gonna need some lemon. Got my lemon here. My half a lemon to squeeze the juice in. I'm gonna turn down the heat to like medium. Now what we're gonna do is Put in your red onions. This is going to be about um, a quarter of a cup of onions. I'm going to flip the salmon. Once you add anything into the pan, the heat turns down. So you have to kind of adjust your heat. Now we're gonna add some wine. This is gonna be about a third of a cup of wine. Just to let it reduce. That's probably not even a third of a cup. It's probably a quarter of a cup. Now we're adding in about uh, four tablespoons of heavy cream. Maybe a quarter of a cup of heavy cream. I'm gonna see how it plays out in here. So a little bit of salt, I had it earlier. We're gonna add some pepper on the side of it. It smells so delicious. Now let's go ahead and add some parsley flakes. Oh, it's cooking away. It smells really delicious. Just let it reduce. So I uh, let it reduce a lot, and uh, I am just, I don't know, pouring some of this nice thick sauce on top of the salmon. <laughs> And I had made that quinoa. So I just microwave this. I follow directions. I think you cut a slit. Just tear a slit like that. And then it tells you the directions in the back. I microwaved it for about a minute and a half. And we're going to start plating. Okay, so I made a bit of rice right here on my plate. I am going to grab my salmon now. Grab my salmon piece right here. Put it on top. Let's get some of that yummy goodness. Put it on top. More. Kids are singing. And then, our perfect salmon skin chip. It goes right on top. There you go. 
That is the perfect Fasting Friday salmon reduced butter crispy skin. So I made this dish for myself and my mother-in-law and uh, Don wants to eat shrimp instead. So I am like cooking two different dishes. But I just wanted to focus on this one because the other shrimp is that garlic Hawaiian shrimp that Don is obsessed about. And I just wanted to share with you how tender is this meat. So tender is really delicious. Mmm. It's so good. And this is how crispy the skin is. Mmm. It's like a chip. Everyone's obsessed about everybody fights over this. So make this dish. You will love it. I'll see you next time. How exhausted I am. This is my second dish. Don't ever try to make two two dishes in one day. I'm tired.